So I'm going to kind of go with what I know here today and show you how to clean and uh, service a sewing machine. Uh, this is not going to apply to every single sewing machine, but this is a computerized machine. Um, this is a new home memory craft 8000. It is my baby. It came out in 1993. I think it cost a few thousand dollars. Um, it's got all kinds of bells and whistles. I found it at Goodwill for actually $30 and it has worked like a charm. I knocked on wood because I don't want it to mess up since I got it. I love this machine and I take, try to take very good care of it. So before we get into cleaning it, let's just talk like general storage. Always store all of your machines with a cover. This machine came with a hard cover. If you buy an expensive machine, it's typically gonna come with a cover. So I always store this um, with the cover on it. And if you wanna go the extra mile, put a cloth covering over it. A cloth covering will work, but always cover your machine. And then when you do come in to have to do things like this, where I'm gonna dust and clean the whole thing, uh, your work will be a lot less strenuous. Um, so I have here uh, my vacuum cleaner with just like a soft bristle attachment. I have paint brushes and a few different sizes. Um, I have a toothbrush, a um, couple of different sizes of screwdriver, um, screwdrivers. I have alcohol pads for cleaning. I have a sewing machine oil uh, and then like a dusting cloth and then a cloth for the LCD screen. So um, I also have scissors, that's important. And you may want tweezers um, if any threads have gotten stuck um, in the bottom or top of your machine. So um, also rubbing alcohol. So you probably have most of the stuff laying around. You may need to go get the sewing machine oil or your machine might not need it. If you have a computerized or modern machine, I would not advise you to oil it unless you are hearing that it's having a problem. Those machines do not need to be oiled as much as a vintage sewing machine, as in one from the 70s, 60s, you know, would need to be oiled. A, me a truly mechanical machine. So um, let's get into it. So I have just dusted the top of my machine out with a paintbrush. And basically, you want to think about everywhere that your thread, your top thread, is going to either encounter any of these obstacles, we'll call them. So if we're going to wind the bobbin thread, we're going to take it around here, right? You don't want your thread to have to encounter any dust because that's going to make the thread coated with dust and it's just, it's just bad. Just trust me. Um, so now that I've cleaned out the top part, I uh, think I want to kind of get the body of the machine. Uh, so I'm going to back you guys up and show you that. So this is just going to be a general deal. I'm just going to take off some parts. So I'm removing the little bed here. I'm gonna take off the bottom bobbin. Sorry, I'm gonna take out the bottom bobbin and, or the, all bobbins are on the bottom. <laughs> That's funny. And I'm also gonna remove the throat plate so we can get those feed dogs. So here's the bottom section that we're going to clean. So I'm just gonna start by taking off the bobbin uh, shuttle hold or cover plate. And I'm also going to remove the throat plate. that in a safe spot and then I'm going to take out the bobbin case so right away here we can see we have a lot of a lot of fuzz that's what mama likes 
Well, I don't like it, but I like it that I'm cleaning my machine right now. So first, I'm just gonna take the bobbin case and clean it out. And especially right here where uh, you hook the thread. Make sure you get under there. So what are we gonna do about this fuzz? Hopefully. Do like this. There goes a whole bunch of it. Put that far away from your machine. It's also helpful for this part to have tweezers. Or so again just make sure you're not not knocking dust back into the machine and this is a toothbrush what is this breaking news it's a toothbrush Sorry. And turn your hand wheel. Now I'm gonna get a little alcohol pad. and just clean out the edges here as best as I can. Now don't use any other kind of uh, thing besides rubbing alcohol because it won't dry fast enough and it won't, it will be wet in your machine and common sense, that's bad. There's quite a bit of dust under here. Oh. Lower the feed dogs too. <sighs> Big old piece right there. flashlight and there's a lot more stuff in there So now that I've uh, cleaned out all the dust from the bottom of the uh, machine, meaning the bobbin um, shuttle case and the feed dogs, I'm going to apply one very small conservative drop of oil to the middle. Okay, maybe a little bit bigger. That's good. And I'm just gonna like run that through the machine a little bit. Meaning uh, lifting the presser foot and turning the hand wheel. So now that our bobbin case is also pretty darn clean, pop that back in there. 
and we can replace the throat plate. But before we do that, we definitely want to clean that off. Need another paintbrush. And it also doesn't hurt to spray it with rubbing alcohol. Whoops. Just to clean it out or clean the top, the surface of it a little bit. Put that back on. And then screw it back. We're also going to clean the presser foot and the shank for the presser foot. And the last two things that we're gonna clean that you might not have thought about are gonna be the spool caps and then also the thread holder up here because if there's any gunk on that, it will prevent your machine from, well, it will prevent the thread spool from running, which will cause tension problems and you don't want that. So that's pretty much it. Um, I know that my machine is really pretty clean. Uh, so a lot of you may have machines that need a little bit more TLC. If you would like help with that, I'd be more than happy uh, to uh, give you my um, opinion. If you send me a picture, um, I do some local sewing machine repair uh, where I live. So um, I don't know everything, but I know enough. Um, so I uh, have reassembled the machine and I did want to make a note that I have had the machine unplugged this whole time. Um, so the next step is just going to be to put a fresh needle in and thread it up, uh, put in a new bobbin and you'll be ready to sew. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that this was helpful and, uh, you know, kind of showed you a gentle way to clean your machine. Um, happy sewing and happy living. Bye.